So in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to get less input delay on your keyboard guys. And I basically just hopped into some Zone Wars games today with my GK61, the normal mechanical version, not the optical one. And I realized that there's a lot of delay actually on this keyboard. Of course, the easiest way to fix this would be to just get a new keyboard guys, but we all know they can get extremely pricey. So therefore I'm going to show you a super simple method guys on how you can reduce the latency on your favorite keyboard in order to make it a lot more responsive and make it feel more awesome in game. If you guys enjoyed this content don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe guys i'm trying to give away a gtx 1080 at 60,000 subscribers if at any further ado, let's get straight into this topic so guys and what i want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my discord guys just simply discord.gg slash the stripes and once you're on there you're gonna go to the search bar and just simply type in timer until you can find timer set resolution pack this is exactly the same channel here and from there you can download it by the way guys discord always tells potentially dangerous even though it's not because i just uploaded this file a couple of minutes ago literally one minute and once you get it on your desktop, you're gonna open it up guys and the tool which we're actually going to be utilizing in today's video is called timer set resolution We're going to launch it and click onto maximum and then you can already see it. our current resolution is on 0 0.500 Which means that we just reduced our input delay by 50% guys So therefore our keyboard is gonna be a lot more responsive We're gonna hop just in a second in game and if it for you doesn't say 0 0.500 guys Don't be worried You're gonna close the program and also click here on to input delay fix comments And there you can see now a bunch of comments which you're going to type actually into your CMD which you're going to run as an administrator click onto yes and then once it's launched you're going to paste every single one of them one by one in here and press enter and then it should be fixed the next time when you're trying to launch the program and as mentioned if you click then onto maximum it should say 0 0.500 and you're going to minimize it and keep it in the background open while launching into fortnite so therefore see you guys just in a second and i can definitely straight up tell guys that my game is a lot more responsive or better said my keyboard and yeah it's just way easier now to hit all my edits timer set resolution is around for a while already i mean even t you used it back in the day so therefore don't be worried guys you can't get banned for it a ton of fortnite top tier pros or even pro players from like other games are using it on a daily base in the background to make sure that they get the least amount of latency on their keyboard and it's an amazing tool because you can utilize it on any keyboard it doesn't matter if you're using a membrane keyboard mechanical or even a super high-end optical keyboard it doesn't matter guys you can use it on any of these and it will automatically always reduce your input delay and the coolest part about it is it also should work on controllers so no matter what device you're using or if you're maybe a hybrid player you can utilize it on both platforms and definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you already use time asset resolution and yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out. Peace.